Goa, known for its beaches and Portuguese colonial architecture, is welcoming back tourists. In the state capital of Panaji, offshore casinos that line the Mandovi River front are glittering again. Inside the casinos, tourists fill the lobby, but with some form of social distancing. In the evenings, patrons were seen dining in small groups as they watched live shows on stage. We are very optimistic because just within uh, about today, today is the uh, seventh day of we starting and uh, we already crossed 65 percent mark. So uh, if the same weight continues uh, within a month, uh, we, we are uh, hopeful of achieving or we are very optimistic of, of uh, uh, achieving the pre-COVID levels with respect to domestic, tour domestic tourists. The state's beaches are gradually filling up too. It's a little after 8 a.m. on a Tuesday morning here in Goa, and Kalangur Beach has already begun welcoming Indian tourists. A sure and welcome sign of revival for the important tourism industry in Goa after the brutal pandemic wave in April and May earlier this year. Tourism generates livelihood for around 40% of Goa's population. When the state went into a second lockdown in April due to the pandemic, it devastated businesses and unemployment soared. Shops, hotels and guest houses that once thrived are today hanging by a thread. Sir, look, this has been a lot of effect. I was on this beach for 10-12 years. When I was in 2019, in March, the lockdown came, the corona came. After that, we have 40% business, 60% business. Now, we are so many years in tourism. We didn't have any problems with tourism. But the time of the corona, we have suffered from the time of the corona, तो अब तक हम लोग का इतना मुश्किल हो गया है हमारा पूरा लोन हाउस लोन कार लोन सब कुछ है वो सब पूरा बैंक हमारे पर टूट के गिरा है हर महीने में हफ्ते में मेरे को चार चार फोन बैंक का आता है कि तुम्हारा हफ्ता भरो हफ्ता भरो हफ्ता भरेगा कहाँ से इधर तो कुछ कमाई नहीं है टूरिज्म इस कमिंग बैक टू लाइफ बट इट इस नॉट � Foreign tourists are still not permitted and Indian travellers must show a full vaccination certificate or a negative COVID-19 test upon entry. Signs urging tourists to follow COVID-appropriate behaviour are all around the state. COVID safety measures are now part of corporate branding. Casinos are allowed to operate only at half the capacity. At Majestic Pride Casino, a thermal scanner screens visitors on entry. As businesses adapt, tourists are also learning new rules in the era of COVID safe tourism. I just drove 1100 kilometers by car, like we are not traveling much with the public transports. We are not meeting much people. We are just like staying away from people. Um, I just took like a, a hotel which is not at a crowded place. The regulations for getting out of the airport or even at uh, the road boundaries is pretty high. They look at the vaccination or RTPCS uh, status. There are lots of beers, beaches. You can choose a couple of them which are less famous and move around uh, you know, with less crowd around you. Around 95% of those working in the tourism sector are already vaccinated. With COVID appropriate behavior in place, the industry hopes to revive itself. Lockdowns are of the past. I think this is a way only we have to move on because we have to understand that you know COVID is here to stay and we have to learn to do business with the COVID. Goa is hoping to vaccinate the entire eligible population by the end of October. For now, it is encouraging more domestic travellers to visit the state with public campaigns. At the moment, we are uh, happy with the way things are going. You know, there is definitely signs of recovery in Goa. However, uh, this time is very uncertain for most of the restaurants across Goa. Uh, most young entrepreneurs who had started their businesses uh, have to are unable to take decisions over the next six months to one year. So we are treading with caution as an industry. Pray for us. This is what the flag fluttering atop a fisherman's boat in Arambol, Goa reads. That pretty much sums up the mood of Goans here who are largely reliant on tourism but have faced severe hardship because of the pandemic. Now, with the new tourism season set to begin in October and go on until March next year, 
the local tourism industry here is cautiously optimistic that tourists, both domestic and foreign, will come flocking again to the state. The state's high vaccination record is being held up as a shield. Will that plan succeed? Prayers and COVID-appropriate behavior is all what Goans have to keep the pandemic's dark clouds at bay.